Welcome to Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. This is Season 8, Episode 31. Please welcome the new WWE Champion, Lashley! So, last week, I beat Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. After he had already won the championship from Bray Wyatt. And I understand. As much as a, of a caring person that you all know me to be, I know... The fact that I'm, per se, advantaged um, in that match. Uh, well, well, what I have to say to that is the fact that Drew McIntyre's been advantaged every single time he's been WWE Champion. I don't think that guy's had to fight as hard as I have. So I don't really think he deserves a rematch. So before the cliche of the former champion coming out and him challenging me, I think it would be more fair for me to have some type of celebration before anybody decided to... Let me explain something to you, Bobby. I'm Goldberg. You're Bobby Lashley. The reason why Drew McIntyre has been a multi-time world champion in such a short time span is due to the fact that... I want him for the WWE Championship. And me and him are not having that match until he's WWE Champion. So, I guess how it turns out, I'll have to be the WWE Champion. Going into the match. And we all know I'm walking out of it. However, Lashley's in the way. And when you're in the way, Lashley, of Goldberg in a big money making match, you go down. And I'm not in the mood for a no. I'm not in the mood for the cliching. Bobby Lashley to bitch out on the WWE Universe again. I understand you don't like to wrestle. That you like to steal championships. Well, I'm here to tell you, boy. That I'm back to steal you know it's starting to seem like you're talking out of your ass Bill because we never agreed on a match for the WWE Championship but if that's what you want, because you're too afraid to fight me for just because. 
It's because you don't want to lose a small match. You want to lose a big match. What in the hell are you talking about? I think I know what he's talking about. You don't want the WWE Championship. You need the WWE Championship, ain't I right? Yeah, well, he said. Now, the fact of the matter is, now that I know this, I'm not going to become WWE Champion until you're gone. No matter what I have to do to bring you down, I'll make sure you're gone before I get that championship again. Because if you're going to stay in my way this entire time, I'm not going to do it. Because I'm not going to have some slobby old man in my way. Hey, ow! Oh! Ah! <clears throat> Well, I actually got bumped into. Uh, taking him down. Flatliner. And a spear to Goldberg. Claymore. Why? <laughs> I think we can settle this little dispute at Fast Lane. I think that would be the most logical thing to do. He is phenomenal. Styles now. Yeah. Oh, you landed it. Who da? Huh. AJ Styles. Oh, wow. Oh. Like it's your luck, Hanada.
Ding, ding, ding. Ah, Morrison! This is not for the United States Championship. Morrison looks to beat him here tonight to become number one contender, baby. <laughs> Who? Oh, my. Did it hurt? Shrug it off. Oh, whoa. Damn. Nice springboard. Wow. One, two, throw. Yeah. One, two, no. The problem with this is, is that we've realized lately, with the lack of videos, we've had some time to think, Oh, Morrison's glasses fell off! That's a first. Chow! Now we've realized something. It's depressing here. It's depressing due to the fact that we started with CM Punk and, and uh, Luke Gallows and... And like, Kane and Undertaker and Triple H and now we got a bunch of new faces and they're continuing to come in large numbers. Oh! And now, seems to be uh, ending. Uh, the, the older uh, stars of the show seem to be fading away a little bit and... Not showing up as much as they used to. And, and he got it. Uh, oh. but like I said, it's depressing, but it is WrestleMania season. So it's going to be exciting either way. However, whoa. AJ. Ali got out of it. And he hit the satellite DDT. The DDT OS. Whoa. Your winner, Mustafa Ali. Ha <laughs> You know, I'm really thinking about uh, going for that championship again. And if you're in my way, I plan on taking you down, buddy. But I will... gentlemen I would like you all to calm down just a tad bit because by god I got some news for you I was listening to Corey over there and I heard the fact that it was a little depressing here all the good faces are leaving everybody's gone so, I am here, and I am back to introduce to you possibly the greatest wrestler of all time. I, good old JR Jim Ross, introduce to you the next big star.
Morrison! Thank you for the introduction, JR. But I've got it from here. So, with all of the good guys leaving and all of these ugly ass faces coming up, it seems to me, baby, that I have a job to do again. And it looks like I'm gonna have to go into this by myself. Because WrestleMania is approaching fast and we have no good matches lined up. And it's Now, Punk, let me get this straight here. You think that you're the one that, that should come back. You're the one that thinks they can come back and save this company. Tell me that truth. Do you really think that you're the one? Well, yes. Yes, I think that way, Rock. I really do. All right. Now let me explain something to you. You think that you're the man, but you're the one that walked out in 2014. And you're the man that came back in 2014 and stole the WWE Championship and lost it a few weeks later. Who's the real man? And then left again. Was it like your fourth time leaving? I just have. One thing to say to you. Man, I'm glad to see you. We can do this together. There's absolutely no reason why we should fight right now. We can fight later. But right now our mission is to bring WrestleMania back to full health. We... Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Ankum and Rizar. They haven't been on TV in a year. We got fired. We got fired to make room for the old guys. That were coming by like Sting and Undertaker. Kane. And a lot more. And we're standing here, looking at two of the men that took our spot. And it looks to me... That it's about time to put it to rest. Oh, and the rock's down. And come, shoving rock. Oh! Who? Oh! oh man, CM Punk is down. Now let us make this clear. And under no means are we back. As a matter of fact, we are fired. But we contacted the WWE to see if, if, if anybody was open.
to us coming back. And they said, no, we just hired two new guys. We asked, who is that? And they're like, that's Phil Brooks and Dwayne Johnson. And that would be CM Punk and The Rock. That took our spots on the roster. Well, one thing that we have to say is that the fact is, if we're not under contract, I am thinking we shall destroy them and let them be on the injured list. <laughs> Gentlemen, the following match is our final chapter match. And his opponent. Ding ding ding! Like that! Yeah! Damn! Edge looking at it early. Randy Orton! Oh! Oh, was that an RKO? I think it was no edge. Oh, and a spear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, edge over the top. Uh, edge loading it up. Oh, and a spear through the middle rope. Who son of a man of the turnbuckle? Oh, and Edge drops Randy Orton down. Looking for it. And the spear connects. Yes, yes. Oh, man. Randy Arden. Who are KO? Both men collapse. Orton's up. His midsection's torn to bits. Edge! Edge! Whoa! 
one, two, ah! No one's kicked out of the punt kick. Edge just kicked out of the punt kick! Ah! Ugh. Northern Lights! Edge! Edge with another! One, two, Edge! We're throwing!